to the extent that there are nonviolent movements in places with ongoing violent conflicts is really amazing. One of the th worst things that war does is just shut down the possibilities for civilian politics and civil society. So to the extent that these things do happen, it's, it's pretty important and pretty amazing. And, you know, I think Central America provides a kind of a history lesson because the, the, the left in Central America and the left throughout Latin America, you know, this second wave of, 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 the, of the kind of, you know, pink social democratic left, I mean, its base in many cases are the civilian components of insurgents, ecologies of movements, not just specific groups or movements, but, you know, this whole, like, ecology of movements from the 60s and 70s. And the military component of that rebellion, if you view this in a sort of broad historical frame, completely failed and justified, uh, you know, allowed the, uh, provided justification for the right wing to just repress the left completely. And it was the survival and resilience of civilian civil society that has really moved the ball down the field for progressive politics in Latin America. And, uh, you know, if there's going to be progressive politics in the Middle East, it's going to be, you know, the same process, I think, of like these civil society movements maturing, you know, surviving, weathering the repression, because they're facing a lot of repression now. Looking to the history of, of the civilian left in Latin America is rich with lessons for people all over the world because they have done a lot with very little under very difficult circumstances, and they continue to do that. And so that's probably something that's worth examining.